All right, Little Beans, it's about time we had a proper conversation about a serious issue in the Royal High community. The Cherry Blossom Kimono Set. As you guys know, the Cherry Blossom Kimono set is well known for having a lot of varying issues. Lots of people have brought up all of the incorrect traditional values that this actual set represents and all of the ways that it is representing them incorrectly. We've known for a while how many issues the Cherry Blossom set has and people have been very unhappy with the fact that the Royal High Devs have never fixed it. When asked about why they haven't, Lance simply said that it is impossible to create the set in the way that it would look proper so that it represents the real life version of a kimono correctly because inside of the game it's impossible for it to have say the floaty sleeves and certain aspect ratios and designs and certain ways that it's formed inside of Roblox. Now many people feel that it would be better if the set was removed but also it would be nice if we could kind of have an idea of how the set should actually be correctly used in the game and how to represent it properly. Now one of you little beans in the community decided to take it upon yourself to take all of the advice that was given from everybody in the community and create the ideal correct and fixed version of the cherry blossom kimono set and we are going to show you it today that's right you guys this looks absolutely so beautiful but before we get started just a quick note to say there are a couple of mistakes in this set as well which the person who created it does acknowledge and we will read the acknowledgement to you after we show you the set the person in question is taking on everybody's advice and working to fix those small problems that they made a mistake with so hopefully we'll have an absolute perfect version ready and waiting for us in the future Absolutely, you guys. And if any Royal High devs happen to watch this video, please feel free to utilize this set concept. I'm sure the artist will be willing and more than happy for you to utilize it in your own research to improve the set in the future. So, you guys, here we are with the Spring Cherry Blossom Kimono Rework Masculine and Feminine. Now, I'm sure you will know there is not currently a masculine version of the Cherry Blossom Kimono set. So I'm sure people would appreciate this too. The notes are in the thread, but I'm going to show you the set first. So as you guys can see, it says Cherry Blossom Kimono Rework. And we have a lot of pieces here. Now, one of the issues that we're pointed out is that the waist is not supposed to be cinched, you guys. It's supposed to be a perfect boxy shape. The creator has acknowledged that and is going to work on it. So we have an Urbi individual and an Urbi informal slash casual. Please Please bear with me in case I am incorrect of how I pronounce these words. So this, I'm assuming, is the burr that goes on their back, you guys, which looks absolutely gorgeous. By the way, the cherry blossom, like, pattern you've done on this, the texture, is gorgeous. We also have some gaiters here, you guys, which I'm assuming are kind of like sandals in a way, but they're slightly different. And as you guys can see, these are much nicer looking than the ones that we actually have on inside of Roblox. They're a bit boxy in Roblox. These are a bit more circular. It'd be nice if maybe there was custom legs on the set instead. Then as you guys can see, this is the feminine set. So we have a tabby, which is an overview here, you guys. And then there's a side view here. So these are like socks almost, I guess. There's some sort of footwear. And then obviously we have the main actual kimono set. So we've got the big flowing beautiful sleeves you guys and the gorgeous dress piece that comes all the way down so as you guys can see there is a urby informal casual an urby individual an urby formal as well and then the front piece of the urby here in the individual as well this looks absolutely gorgeous you guys now obviously i don't know the correct descriptive words to describe the set but it does just look so magical and definitely much better over the last one that we already had in the game now bearing in mind you guys that obviously this doesn't obviously perfect there are still some issues that need to be fixed it is much closer than the set that's currently in raw high now over to the masculine version you guys can see it is a darker in pink color there is a masculine urby which has demonstration one and there's demonstration two so there's the tie that's upright and the tie that's lower and then there's a not version two and a not version one as you guys can see it's zoomed in so you can see it properly there's the more masculine gator sandals which are a bit more square instead of circular the tabby seems to go a little bit high up the ankle on the masculine one too and then as you guys can see the main kimono instead of having the like like strap i guess for the urby instead of having the burr and the big like cinching waist part which obviously isn't meant to be cinched but kind of looks like a cincher obviously isn't present on the masculine one this does look absolutely amazing though as well you guys and so beautiful and i'm so excited i really really hope that the developers utilize this reset and also the replies to this tweet to help them with fixing the set in the future 
Now, the creator, Arafiron, I believe you say, you guys, said, Nerds, I have done the best I could to ensure I represented this set in a way that is less stereotyped and more respectful. For now, this is the final version of Birth Parts, but if I need to fix anything, I'm willing to do more research and come back to it in the future. Update, Nerds, it has come to my attention that the feminine version of the kimono is still off. It was supposed to be more rectangular in shape, which I did know about. I am just addressing that I do know that it's supposed to be that way, and I didn't think it was. And then lastly, that far off at first and second observation after everything is made. I will acknowledge outright that the kimono for the feminine version will get updated and revamped, hopefully properly, at a later date. So they are going to rework you guys and improve the pieces that they have obviously not quite got there perfectly. So hopefully, with the fixes taken on from the advice that people in the community have shared, we'll maybe be able to see the devs actually take the advice on too and work past the boundaries that Roblox sets on them, which Royal High has done many times in the past, to create, hopefully, a much more culturally accurate kimono blossom set. Now that it means, let me know in the comments down below. Did you like this concept? Would you like to see the kimono set fixed? And would you like to see more cultural items in the game? If so, let me know what cultural items you would like to see as a set in Royal High in the comments down below. As always, little means, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell. And don't forget to go subscribe to my roleplay channel and my vlog channel. They are both linked below. I'll see you guys next time, little beans. Have a great day. Goodbye. Thank you.